Hello team, time to review. How many defenders do we use in our 3-4-1 formation? We'll use three defenders. We'll start with the uh, left D, who is responsible for covering this zone. On the other side, we'll use a right D, who will cover this area. What do we call our middle defender? We'll call our middle defender the sweeper. And the sweeper is responsible for all of this area. What is this first formation called? In the defensive wall, our defenders will stay on the midfield stripe, preventing the ball from coming back on our end, keeping pressure on our opponent. If the ball does happen to slip through our defensive wall, then our goalkeeper has moved up to the top of the box in a position to immediately return the ball to the other side of the field. What tactic are you looking at in this picture? For an offside trap to work, not only does the left D engage the ball, but the other two defenders move at the same time, forming a straight line across the field. If the blue team is able to beat our offside trap, here's how we help each other. Our sweeper will sweep in and put her body in between the ball and the goal. Our right D moves over into the middle zone. But who's going to cover that back door area? When we add our midfielders back into the picture, we can see what happens when our offside trap is beat. And our sweeper sweeps in, our right D leaves her zone to cover the middle, and then one of our extra two center midfielders slides down into that backdoor zone. The center midfielder is not the only player who can help out in this situation. Who else is in position to slide down into that backdoor zone? Our right wing can also slide down into that backdoor zone. One of our center midfielders would move into the empty space left by the right wing, and then we're still able to cover all six areas and maintain our shape. If you understand the hop strategy and the defensive tactics I covered, the other team will have a very difficult time finding our goal.